Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how to deposit funds to immutable passport wallet, specifically to immutable ZKEVM network. There is a bunch of new games being added to immutable. Uh, I'm recording this in June of 2024. So right now the Guild of Guardians is active and there is lots of new players. So I decided to record this video to help you out. Now there is a couple of ways you can do that and in this video I will try to show you each of the ways. Now first you want to obviously have mutable passport, you can just open, with, open it with your Gmail account. So just uh, log in and the uh, wallet address will be gen generated for you. And then if you want to buy some assets, NFTs, you want to buy some Guardians for Guild of Guardians or any other game, uh, you will need funds on this network. So you want to press add funds here on the balance. And now the easiest, the fastest way to do it is uh, by using your debit card or credit card. No, but this is the most expensive way to do it, but the fastest way. So I will show you here. So let's say you want to buy uh, 100 bucks of uh, IMX or Ethereum, let's say. Uh, and the fee they charge, so Immutable works with uh, Transac, and the fee they charge is 3.74%. So that, that's how much you will lose if you buy using your debit card from the bank. And one other problem with that is uh, some banks will not accept this transaction. So you just have to give it a try and see if it works with your bank. If it doesn't or this fee is too high for you, then I will show you a couple of other options. Same thing, you will press add funds and then your other option is to bridge it from another network. Uh, now for this, you will need to have Ethereum or IMX uh, either on the exchange or, uh, or your personal wallet, MetaMask wallet or any other. So you will press bridge. Now again, you will have two options here. You can do it through a layer swap or through Axelor. Those are again two third-party companies Immutable is working with if you change the if you choose the layer swap. How this works, I will show you right now. Uh, first you have to select the source. So let's say you have some Ethereum or IMX on your MetaMask wallet. So you will cho choose Ethereum network here and you will move that to immutable ZKEVM, right? Um, and you will again select Ethereum. Now you can uh, do this for a couple of coins. I believe it's uh, Ethereum, USDC, Guild of Guardians coin and the immutable. And let's see here, transfer via wallet. Max amount, so for example, and the fee right now for this kind of transfer would be only two dollars, right? So this is how much this would cost you if you transfer one Ethereum. If you do 0 0.1, yeah, fee is pretty much the same. So you'll have this one flat fee to do this kind of a transfer. Now, if this doesn't work out for you for some reason. I personally use layer swap a couple of times and it works pretty good. Even if you go to their own, their own app, you can, uh, I will show you here if this works. You can also move, if you have some money on the Immutable X. So for example, if you are playing uh, Gods Unchained and you have some Ethereum there or IMX, you can also select Immutable X and then coin your wish. So let's say IMX and you can move it here right from that network to that network you have to be aware these are not two same networks so immutable has immutable x and this new one immutable zkevm gods unchained is on this network and uh, guild of guardians is on this network it's a bit messy right now and hard to understand but uh, this is just how it is and now I will show you the third option to bridge if this doesn't work for you for some reason. You can do it using the XLR. 
and this works for Ethereum only, I believe. And I use this way to move funds once in the past. So first you want to select the wallet and the network. So if you have your funds on MetaMask, you will select that. Then you'll have to connect with your MetaMask account. Okay, sure. And then from network, so this is on Ethereum network, my main MetaMask uh, wallet, right? And now I want to move it to Immutable Passport. And now this is this PFBC, the one I'm logged in with. So I will press next and then I can select only Ethereum, right? If I have Ethereum or MetaMask, I can do that. And let's say, how much do I have here? Zero. 0.002242 okay review okay i know now what you can see see here this is quite expensive this way right right now it's gonna cost me like 1268 gas fees plus uh, 22 cents of service fee now this amount will change right depending on the time of the day like right now I'm in Canada, it's 2.20 p.m. Gas fees are quite high at this time. I know like if I do this like 11 p.m., this will be maybe three, four or five dollars. But still, this is the more expensive way to do it. Now I showed you three ways. Now next thing what you can do, you can transfer. If you do that, what happens? Now this is to my understanding, I've never tried it. This is how you can move funds from one immutable passport to the other immutable passport, right? Um, that's all you can do with this option. Even it says here, immutable ZK EDM only. So if you have some money on your immutable wallet, you can send it to your friend or whatever, or to your other immutable ZK EDM passport wallet. And the last option is you can swap. So in my case, I have some IMX just because I'm collecting that uh, daily red games on the on the mutable passport. Um, and if I want to switch between these these coins, so all I have to do is press swap, and then I can. Okay, let's say I want to change. 100 IMX to Ethereum and you can see on the right side uh, inclusive of 1% fees so you lose 1% if you swap coins on the mutable passport so that's like $1 right now right if I want to do that and immutable is working with quick swap to, to, to do this uh, changes and yeah, that's that's how you can do it, right? And then once you have uh, funds on the passport, best way to buy uh, NFTs is going to Token Trough website. Then you can just log in with uh, your uh, mutable passport and buy the NFTs you wish, and they will appear in the inventory, right? So have a couple of heroes, pets, and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was uh, helpful. If it was, please consider supporting the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel.